Well, first of all, I want to welcome everyone to uh, our North Little Rock terminal today. I want to thank the event planners, first of all, for scheduling this at 8.30 in the morning, which I think is very important this time of year. I'm Mike Mears, the president and CEO of Magellan Midstream Partners. It's a privilege to be here today, uh, and it's a privilege to do business uh, in Arkansas and North Little Rock. I want to express my sincere thanks to our, our guests today, our speakers, uh, U.S. Senator John Bozeman, U.S. Senator Tom Cotton, Governor Asa Hutchinson, Lieutenant, Lieutenant Governor Tim Griffin, Congressman Bruce Westerman, the Mayor of North Little Rock, Joe Smith, and their staffs for being here today. The success of this project, and most importantly, the ability to get it completed on time, is due in no small part to the proactive efforts and leadership of, of these individuals. I also want to welcome today representatives of our customers, uh, members of the Cherokee Nation, the Arkansas National Guard, the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission, other representatives of the petroleum industry that are here today, and also the media for attending. Uh, the, su the successful completion of this project, which is many years in the making, we probably spent four years at Magellan working on this for the last two years building it, uh, is going to provide many benefits to the people who live and work here in Arkansas, and, and uh, our elected officials are going to speak a little bit more about that in a minute. Pipelines play a very important role in delivering refined products and other uh, products to consumers. Uh, they depend on it each day without really even know, knowing about it. Most people don't think about how gasoline actually gets to their retail stations, but pipelines are the safest, most efficient, lowest cost, and most reliable transportation method for transporting liquid fuels. And because of that, people don't need to think about how the gasoline and the diesel fuel gets to the market. They can just depend on the pipelines to get it there. This project involved an extension of our pipeline system from Fort Smith, Arkansas to Little Rock. We had originally planned to build about 250 miles of new pipeline uh, related to this project. We were able to uh, work with another existing pipeline in the market and use about 160 miles of existing pipeline to minimize the construction impact in Arkansas. And then we built about 12 miles of new pipeline near Fort Smith and about 38 miles of new pipeline into the North Little Rock terminal coming in from the north. It's about $200 million to build this project. As I said, it took about two years for actual construction. The capacity of this system is about 3.2 million gallons per day. We've also connected it to all of the surrounding terminals, uh, the HRW. The HWRT terminal, which is across the street, the JP Energy terminal down the street, Apex Oil, and we've also connected it to Union Pacific Railroad. We're currently operating transporting gasoline and diesel fuel into diesel fuel into this terminal. We anticipate having jet fuel available uh, at this terminal to supply the Air Force Base and the airport uh, early in 2017. I'd also like to point out the significance of this pipeline to be the, the first time to bring refined products, gasoline and diesel fuel, into this central Arkansas market from Oklahoma and Kansas and central and other central region refiners. Historically, those refineries and those supply points have never had access to central Arkansas. There are periods of time during the year where those refineries produce the lowest cost gasoline in the region. And so now they'll have access to this market to bring in lower priced fuel for central Arkansas. I'd also announce, like to announce today that just last week we signed an agreement with Enterprise Products uh, Pipeline to connect our system to an existing pipeline uh, just north of here to move refined products into West Memphis. And so uh, we'll be extending the benefits of this pipeline here. It's going to take us about a, a, a year or nine months to build that connection but we're going to be extending the benefits of this pipeline into West Memphis and the Eastern Arkansas market. I'd also like to thank the, the uh, staff here at the terminal, Magellan staff here at the terminal, and also anyone involved with the construction of this project for completing the project on time uh, and safely. And with that, I will turn the podium over to Senator Tom Cotton, again, who was one of the leading advocates for this project. Thank, 
Thank you very much, Mike. It's great to be here with all of you. It's great to be celebrating this wonderful project, $200 million of investment and over 1,000 good, high-paying jobs. For our Kansans, it's going to mean more abundant and affordable energy. Uh, in particular, for Little Rock Air Force Base, it's going to keep energy flowing there, making it an attractive location for our nation's Air Force, which is such a uh, strong driver of our local economy. Um, I wish I could say I played a big part in this project. I can't claim that. Maybe a small little part in cleaning out some bureaucratic underbrush, but it's a, uh, it gives me a sense of great satisfaction and reward in my role to be able to help people like Magellan uh, and their customers achieve their goals here in Arkansas in the day-to-day -day work I do for Arkansan. So for that, I just want to say thank you, everyone, for entrusting me to be your junior senator and now introduce my good friend, a man with whom I work closely on this project, your senior senator, John Bozeman. Thank you all, and uh, it really is an honor to be here. It seems like yesterday, although it was a while ago, when uh, we met and talked about, uh, you know, the plan. And the plan was to get uh, gasoline here, get it in a very safe way in trucking, uh, in piping versus trucking, also lowering the cost and getting it to this region of the country. So that makes it less expensive. And then also, very importantly, as Tom mentioned, having a ready supply of jet fuel uh, for our bases, which again, we desperately want to make sure that uh, in the future, when they look at bases that we don't need, we've got all of the infrastructure that we need. And these aren't glamorous things, but these are so, so very important. I want to thank all of you all in the sense that I, I think this is a great example of just everybody working together. And, uh, you know, the, the delegation was able to come together and help with some little problems that cropped up. Corps of Engineers stepped in, the uh, Cherokee Nation, uh, and I'm going to leave somebody else out in the, the National Guard. All of these groups and many, many more, the mayor doing such a great job here in North Little Rock. You know, all of these groups just doing a, a great job of working together. And the end result is, by any standard, we've got something that's very beneficial. We're bringing this by, by uh, pipeline instead of truck. Uh, that reduces the safety issues of all of the trucks on the road. It also reduces our carbon footprint in the sense of not having to burn the fossil fuels that you need to, to actually to pipe this stuff up here. So congratulations to you all. and. Uh, uh, we look forward to working with you on the next project that's good for Arkansas. We all know who Bruce is. Come on up. Thank you, Senator. It is a great pleasure to be here today, like many of you probably have been doing. I've been staying up too late watching the Olympics and uh, if you didn't see last night, Katie Ledecky and Michael Phelps won more gold medals. The uh, gymnastics team won a gold medal. And as I thought about that and, and thought about the great competitors and the great winners that we have on the Olympic team, I thought about this project and how this project is a winner. It's a winner for a lot of reasons that have already been mentioned. It uh, puts lower cost fuel here in central Arkansas. It uses domestic energy instead of depending as much on on foreign energy. It takes trucks off of the road. It creates a safer environment. Uh, it's a win-win situation. I'm not sure with this stage we shouldn't just raise the American flag and play the national anthem in, in the spirit of the Olympics, but I'm uh, glad to have done a small part. Uh, uh, the, the line obviously comes through my district in the western part of the state uh, as, it, as it comes here to central Arkansas, and it's a good day uh, for Arkansas to have to be celebrating this project, the jobs that were created, and all the other benefits that come along with it. And with that, I want to introduce another winner, our Lieutenant Governor, Tim Griffin. Thank you. Well, thank you all. A lot of great things that can be said about this project. Most of them have already been said, but let me focus on one thing in particular. We hear a lot of talk about the importance of infrastructure to economic development, to job growth. Usually, in, in the business I'm in, when you're talking about infrastructure, people are thinking government doing something. Well, let me tell you, this is infrastructure. 
This is as much infrastructure as anything else, as roads or anything else. So this is, a, this is critical to job growth for a lot of the reasons that were talked about, but the access and, you know, it's not, it's, not, uh, it's not impossible to build a pipeline like this, obviously, but it takes a lot of dedication and it, it takes a, a private sector company like this willing to take that step. Yeah, we have the technology and all that, but to actually take the step and say, I'm going to commit to that. I'm going to put $200 million in that. I'm going to commit several years. I'm going to have to jump through all these regulatory hurdles. And there's so many of them now in so many businesses. We scare people off from taking this kind of investment. We've seen that in the refinery area. We've seen that with nuclear um, power plants. So this is infrastructure, and this is important infrastructure for the development of this region. Thank you all so much. And now I want to introduce somebody who is focused like a laser beam on job growth. You know him, our governor, Asa Hutchinson. Thanks, Tim. Uh, I want to extend my congratulations to uh, Magellan Midstream Partners for the success of this pipeline and also for the success of getting our delegation together. I think just about every leader is here, and if they're not here, they're in a designated location for uh, secure location. I think that's where French Hill is today. Uh, but this is uh, an exciting day for us. As Tim mentioned, we're really working hard to create more economic growth, sustained economic growth in this state, and we're having success. Whenever we have a 3.8% unemployment rate, which is the lowest in the recorded history of Arkansas, whenever you look at the fact we've created 54,000 jobs, all of this sustained economic growth creates a demand for new energy. And everything ties together. As a consumer, a couple years ago, I was in West Little Rock going to a service station, filling up my car, or at least I was hoping to fill up my car. But the sign at the gas pump was out of gas. So I went in and I asked them, what's the deal? And they said, well, we couldn't get any more distribution from North Little Rock. That's all I knew. I was just a consumer and I was inconvenienced because we didn't have gas. Now you multiply that, as has been pointed out by the senators, that if Little Rock Air Force Base does not have that consistent supply, we're not going to be able to keep that incredible military installation here in Arkansas. And so the supply is critically important. In central Arkansas alone, we consume 125,000 barrels of petroleum a day. This brings in an additional, just through this pipeline, a supply of 75,000 barrels. This increases our supply and our capacity to grow. It is absolutely essential. And so this meets a need. The other way to look at it is we've had our supply coming up from the Gulf states. This opens up the supply chain coming from the West. And as you know, there's a lot of generation uh, oil and gas production uh, in the West from Oklahoma to Texas. It opens up that supply chain. So it increases the reliability, the affordability of the supply of energy of gas to central Arkansas. So that's important to us. It's important to me. Uh, because I can't go out and recruit industry to this state if they say, well, you've had a glitch. Uh, you don't have a consistent supply. This provides that. We're excited about this. And from a state perspective, uh, as was pointed out at the federal level, sometimes you just got to break through the bureaucracy. And I'm delighted with the agencies of the state of Arkansas that have really worked to make this happen. Uh, it happens because it is a secure and reliable s source of of fuel, but it is also environmentally friendly. And obviously we have to have the protections in place. Magellan, we're proud of your investment in this state, your creation of jobs, and your recognition of this area as growing economically and need of this increased supply. So Mike, congratulations and thank you for your support.